Hi Scorpio, welcome to your February 2019 reading. So as usual, we've got the general reading and you've also got a love reading as well. Uh, oh, these dungarees, I'll tell you something now, they just always seem to just come loose. Okay, so yeah, we're going to uh, do your uh, general reading first and then it's time stamped when your love reading starts for February. Mid-February, we're going to do a massive, before Valentine's, a massive uh, love reading then as well, okay? So we're going to, as usual, use my enchanted uh, Everyday Enchantment Tarot. I'm hoping at some point this week there's a new deck that's being released that I'm really after, so I'm hoping to get that and show you guys that beautiful deck when it comes out. I can't wait. Oh my God, I've been waiting for that uh, another deck for over a year. But it's finally being released on Amazon and I'm finally able to get my hands on it. So let's, let's have a look at what the um, general theme is for the month of February 2019 for Scorpio. Let's have a look. So... Uh, Universe Spirit, just show me what is the general theme for Scorpio. What is the general theme for Scorpio? Show me the general theme for Scorpio. What is the general theme for Scorpio in February 2019? Show me. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, just going to split the deck into three. These cards, though, I love them so much, but they're massive and they're so hard to, to shuffle. It's unbelievable. Um, let's have a look here. So let's put these... Like so, okay, right, all right, so, there we go, okay, right, okay. I mean, I, I certainly feel that there's family situations going on here, um, let's have a look, potentially for some of you guys in the general situation, um, Right, let's have a look first. So you guys are showing us being the page of... This is the you now position, Scorpio. You're showing us being the page of cups. I feel that you're very loyal, Scorpio, with the page of cups energy. I also feel that some of you guys are... I think that some of you guys have been a little bit naive. If I'm, I'm not being funny, but I do think that you're being, you've been a little bit naive with that page of cups. Because you show us being the page. So if you show us being the page... You're showing us being naive, slightly naive. You're showing us being somebody who, you know, is in the love with in love with an idea, uh, in love with a dream, in love with a fantasy. That's what the Page of Cups is. When you do tarot, just learn your court cards because it's really instrumental. And even the the uh, even even the pick the pick cards, you learn the character from the pick cards because it will serve you well when you try characterizing somebody within the tarot. How do you describe a Page of Cups filled with life? Yes, of course filled with hopes, filled with dreams, in love with the idea of love, this person is flirtatious, they're happy, they're joyous, and you're all of those things, but he is also privy to being quite naive. I also feel that emotionally you guys are very open and very receptive to another individual here, um, but I feel that because of this energy, because of who you are, what you're facing in the month of February 2019 is a little bit of disappointment. I'm sorry, but it is showing as being disappointment with that Five of Cups energy because the root issue is all about the Four of Wands. Now, this is about a marriage, a union, a relationship, a home. Let's have a look at what it is about this Four of Wands. What do you mean by the Four of Wands? Give me another cut. You said the root issue, the reason that everything is happening is because of the Four of Wands. What is it about this Four of Wands, please? Show me. Um, okay, so I feel that there's been a lot of pressure within the home. You've got the uh, Ten of Wands here and the Four of Wands. So I feel the root issue is that there's been a lot of pressure, Ten of Wands, a lot of tension. Ten of Wands is pressure, it's tension, it's struggle. A lot of pressure and tension within the home with the Four of Wands. And I feel that, you know, you guys have had to take a stand. So there's been, you, you know, you face some challenges, a lot of wand energy here, and it's challenging wand energy. So some of you guys have faced some challenges. You really have faced some challenges, probably possibly with a partner. I'm going to see what those challenges are about. Seven of Wands can mean many things, but I've been in this reading, you face some challenges with this Seven of Wands energy. I'm going to see what those challenges are about. Uh, justice. So the challenges are about... Uh, justice is all about making decisions from the head. But also the Justice energy um, is about completion and acceptance. Uh, I feel that, you know, you might be facing challenges with justice. It might be to do with 
you know, uh, a legal situation for some of you guys with the justice energy. It might be that you face, yeah, I mean, you might have been facing some struggles in terms of, you know, a legal situation here for some of you guys. I do feel for some of you guys, it might be that you've been facing some challenges concerning having to make a decision, weighing things up with the justice energy, trying to create harmony and balance maybe within the home with the justice energy. And it might likely be that trying to create harmony and balance because you've got the four of wands and pressure. Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands, while pressure within the home. And around that, you've had to, with the, the Seven of Wands energy, some of you guys around that, you guys have been standing by what you feel is fair and what you feel is right, because justice energy is all about what is right. And with the Seven of Wands, sometimes you're standing by what you feel is right and what you feel is fair. So some of you guys have been facing challenges within, and the Four of Wands might be the home, it might be the workplace, but you've been facing these challenges within the workplace or within the home, because you will not give up. Scorpio will not give up. And I think with the Seven of Wands, you've been standing by what your beliefs are. You've been standing by what you believe to be right and what you believe to be fair with the Justice Energy. Now, um, oh, these dungarees are about to really get on my nerves. Jeez. Um, now, I feel that what's influencing you or what's challenging you is the Nine of Wands. I think that you, I think you're growing tired. I think there's a, a sense of exhaustion here for some of you Scorpios because you've got the Nine of Wands energy showing here i think there's a sign of a sense of exhaustion but also if this isn't you then this is somebody that you're dealing with and if you're dealing with a nine of wands individual this is somebody who won't give up this is somebody who's got the battle scars to show sometimes this is somebody who feels sorry for themselves sometimes with the nine of wands this is somebody who despite a battle will not stay down they just keep getting up and getting up and getting up and for some of you guys if this isn't you it doesn't matter whether it's you or not you know, the month is for you're facing the Five of Cups. Some of you guys having to go up on a situation with the Five of Cups energy. Some of you guys having to concede defeat. But the most likely outcome will be, well, there is a need to mediate. This will probably be you and this person. This is you, Scorpio, whichever you are in blue. And the pink is the person or whatever, vice versa. But there is contention here between you and another individual. And the most likely outcome I feel with the temperance energy is that this will be mediated. It will be sorted out. It will be resolved. You've got the person in the middle and she's saying, here, I'll just have a couple of juices, guys, and settle down and, you know, just chill out about it. So I do feel that the most likely outcome is there's going to be a resolution to the situation. Coming in, you've got the two of wands. So the two of wands could be that there is stalemate or there is, uh, you know, you've got a decision to make between two paths with that two of wands energy showing here and influence is coming in. Well, I do feel that there is going to be, you know, there's going to be a positive, I'm not saying it's a positive resolution, but I do feel with the sun energy that there's going to be something very optimistic that comes in for Scorpio. This could be, you know, um, uh, a, a suggestion, for example, a very positive suggestion. Let's see what shows up with this, this sun energy showing here uh why is the sun as an influence coming in on that two of wands show me so we'll look the seven of coins so i feel that there is going to be a positive breakthrough with the sun energy because the sun clears everything in which you start to consider with the seven of coins now i feel that you know when you look at the seven of coins the money is being handed to the woman so she's considering whether, and it's actually, it's funny with this seven of coins because she's actually selling stuff and this person's paying money and she's considering to herself, should I take this person's money? So this person might be bartering with them. This person, if you look at here, can you see the seven of coins, this person, this woman is selling stuff, but this person who's offering the money is offering seven coins and this woman's like, hmm. Now you wouldn't be doing that if the person offering the money was paying for the exact paying for the goods at the exact price that this woman had set it at. That's not the case, it can't be. So this must be about a compromise. So there's a positive breakthrough as a compromise is being reached here. And I think it's for you, Scorpio, to consider the compromise that's being suggested to you, okay? Your hopes or fears. Well, I feel the hopes is simply just to work together as a team. Three of coins. The overall outcome though is the moon. Okay, so. The moon is all about using your intuition. Okay, we're going to see what shows up with that moon. But moon's a tricky card because they can also show uncertainty as well. I'm going to see what this path, just this choice between two paths is first with the two of wands. And then we'll get the moon. Let's have a look at what shows up with the two of wands. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, where's that gone? There we go. That just stripped out. Okay, the uh, queen of coins shows up. And I think that we need to take that card. I think that you've got a choice between two paths. Um... As to whether, you know, and I keep seeing this exchange. If you look at the Queen of Coins on this card here, again, it's an exchange. She's purchasing goods and she's paying her money. All right, can you see? 
And actually, no, it's the same thing as the Seven of Coins. Look at that. Can you see that? How the money is being handed out to the woman here. The Seven of Coins. And she's saying, hmm, should I take that? There's a compromise here that somebody wants to make. They don't have enough to pay for her, her goods. And here, two wands. You've got a choice between two paths. I think it's as to whether you take this person's, you know, uh, maybe this person's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe somebody's making some form of an apology here. But you're handing over food and they're paying you for it, okay? So this is a transaction happening here. So I feel that you have a choice as to whether you're going to work with this person, whether you're going to transact with them. Because this is a transaction on the Queen of Coins. And remember what I always say about the cards? I look at the cards. I look at the different pictures on the cards. I don't always read the general meaning of the card because I think it's fatal to do that. You've got to look at the cards. You've got to look at the, what the picture is. There's a transaction going on here. So some of you guys have a choice between two paths, the two of wands, as to whether you're going to transact with this individual. Because coming in, there is going to be a positive breakthrough in which this person's going to want to compromise with you, Scorpio. And I feel that your hopes would be simply just to work as a team with the three of coins energy. The overall outcome is the moon. Let's have a look at why the overall outcome is the moon or what this is about. Let's have a look. Um, what shows with the moon energy and judgment. Okay. Um... See, the moon is all about uh, uncertainty and fear. Uh, the judgment energy for me releases us from our fears of the moon. So I feel that the overall outcome is being released. I think with the judgment, if you look at the judgment energy, she's saying goodbye. She's not only saying goodbye to the old ways, these people drinking. Can you see how her calling, she's following a calling here. So she's being called to let go. And I think with the moon energy showing here, which is the fear aspect, the anxiety, the worries, I feel that you're being called really in the outcome with the judgment energy to let go of this moon energy. I think that you're being called to let go of the fear of the anxiety of this situation. Because it might be your own fears, for example, that you're holding on to in this situation, okay? So I feel that by the end of February 2019, or mid-month February 2019, you're being called with the judgment energy to let bygones be bygones, to let go of the fears, to let go of the anxieties, to let go of the anger, whatever it is that the moon represents for you. I think that there is a calling here that you're being called to do this. Because remember on the judgment energy, there's a calling. She's being called. Can you see that? And she's turning around and she's saying goodbye. Behind her is not just the drink, it's the moon. You know? She's being called to turn a different corner, you know, to turn away from the past. And I feel that you guys are being called to turn away, to release this, this, this anger, this anxiety, this fear that you guys have been feeling around this situation. We're going to quickly get this reading again before we start on your love reading. The month of January, uh, February 2019, Scorpio, and your general reading for that month. You guys are, with the Page of Cups, slightly naive, I feel, with the Page of Cups. I think that you come with a warm heart. Uh, I think that you come with genuine intentions with the Page of Cups energy. I think that you come with a vibe of wanting to help and wanting to be there with, for someone. But I feel that this is factoring through to you guys having to face some form of disappointment here. I'm going to see what that disappointment is all about. What's this disappointment about with the Five of Cups? What's this disappointment about for the Five of Cups for, for Scorpio? Well, the Knight of Wands. Okay, I feel that the disappointment is that this person with the Knight of Wands energy... Knight of Wands is all about freedom seeker. Uh, Knight of Wands, you know, you're disappointed because of the Knight of Wands. I'm going to see what that Knight of Wands has done. I'll see what shows up with that Knight of Wands. I think that this might be a person. Um, I'm seeing disappointment here. Okay, uh, let's turn this up. It's around. I think there's disappointment. I think that somebody is driven by chaos. That's the way I look at these two cards, because the Knight of Wands is to be driven, and this is all about the chaos, so I feel there's disappointment. I feel that you come with really good intentions, Scorpio, with that Page of Cups. I think that you come with really, really good intentions in February 2019. I think, you, you know, you're a really good person, Scorpio, from what I can see. You're a little bit naive with the Page of Cups. You think you can save the world, just like that, by being nice or whatever it is. But I feel that also with the Page of Cups, you come with you know, purity and honesty and kindness. But I feel that it's factoring through to you guys having to face in February 2019 a real disappointment over this, that you can't save the world and you can't save this person because I think that they are driven by chaos. 
with the uh, Nigel Wands being driven and the Tower being cursed. I think that somebody is very, very driven. And also, look at him, he's like a hell's angel. So somebody is hell-bent probably with the Knight of Wands energy on creating some form of chaos as well. Because the root issue is all about the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is all about the home or a relationship in which there's been a great deal of pressure. And I feel that you have had to stand by, you know, what you feel is right with the justice energy. Okay, so I feel that the root issue is all about something in the home or something in a relationship that has caused a great deal of pressure and a great deal of tension. And I feel that, you know, you guys coming with the best of intentions, whatever this relationship is for you, friend, family, romantic work, whatever it is, you guys, though, you come with the best intentions, you're going to have to face that, you know, you're probably going to have to give up on this in a way with the Five of Cups or you're going to face, you know, some disappointment because this person is hell bent on creating chaos. All right, and I feel that also what's challenging you is that, you know, with the Nine of Wands, this is you. You've not given up. You've not given up. You didn't want to give up. So some of you guys, I feel this is you, the Nine of Wands. I feel that you didn't want to give up. You just didn't want to give up on this person. You didn't want to give up on this situation. You've just stuck in there and you said, you know what, okay, this person needs giving me hell, but you know what, I'm tired and, you know, I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to keep, I'm not going to give up on them because the Nine of Wands never, ever gives up. But as a result of that, the... Energy for the month of February is still saying, well, what's challenging you and what's why you're so disappointed with that Five of Cups energy is because you didn't give up, Scorpio. You didn't with the Nine of Wands and Nine of Swords, uh, Nine of Wands energy. You didn't give up, and also you really believed in this person. You really believed in them. You 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 looked at them in the best possible way with the Page of Cups energy, but the, in the nicest way, Scorpio. You really did, and you didn't want to give up on them. But I feel that this is what's disappointing you. Because this person, it would seem, is hell-bent on creating some chaos in your life for some reason. And it's all because there are pressures. There are pressures that this person, this four of wands energy, has caused a great deal of pressure for this individual. For some reason, because of the home or because of the work situation or the environment, there's a lot of pressure in that environment. And because of that, you have to face disappointment. Because this person is hell-bent on creating chaos. But the universe says, well, don't worry, Scorpio, because this can be mediated. It can be sorted out with the temperance energy. Coming in, what I'm seeing is uh, the two of wands energy. I feel that uh, there is a you have a choice between two paths. You could go either direction on this because I feel that this person will want to transact with you. The page of uh, the queen of coins. Okay, you have a choice as to whether you want to transact or work with this individual with the Queen of Coins energy. And coming in, what you've experienced for some of you Scorpios is the sun. This is something positive here. Okay, and what is so positive is this is a transaction again, compromise. So what you experience coming in is something positive in which there is the potential that you can think about some form of a compromise. Because I feel that this person will want to kind of compromise with you. And you guys will kind of be like, ah, oh, let me think about this. Okay, let me think about this. And also, with the Two of Wands being a business card and the Queen of Coins being on this card, particular transaction, it might, Queen of Pentacles, sorry, being a business transaction, it might be with the Two of Swords. This is like a business partnership coming in here. So it might be, you know, uh, in the immediate future. This is not going to be about literally forgiving this individual, but it might be a case of for some of you Scorpios, you're just going to have to kind of get along with this individual because it's a business matter, not necessarily business, but it, because it serves something else in the relationship other than love. So I don't think that this is a love thing for a lot of you guys. This might be somebody you don't get on, a family member you don't get on with, or a work person you don't get on with. But somewhere along the line with that two of wands, this is a partnership in which, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, the Queen of Pentacles. She's passing over her goods and this person's buying it. It's a transaction. So this is like a, a business transaction going on here. So coming in, what you'd experience is simply having to, you know, do a transaction, transact with this individual. It's not love, it's business. And I don't mean kind of like business, business. It's the way that it has to be because you guys have got to get something out of it. Do you see what I mean? You know, so for example, if you're, if this is something to do with a divorce or anything like that, for example, it might be coming into February that you're going to have to speak to this person. 
because it involves, you know, the exchanging of goods, for example, the exchanging of divorce papers, the exchanging of property, uh, whatever it is. It might be that, you know, the two of wands and the, and the queen of coins energy is a partnership that you work in, one in which there's an exchange of goods with the queen of coins energy, because she's exchanging goods, and the two of wands is a partnership. So it might be that it's a platonic thing for some of you guys, but you have to get along with somebody in the immediate future, because it's all about a business transaction, no more, no less. So I feel that coming in, some of you guys, Scorpio, you're just going to have to get along with this individual because it's nothing more than a business transaction. That's all it is. And influences are coming in because, and they're good, the sun. This is a positive change of events with the sun energy. As you consider, maybe some form of a compromise with that seven of coins energy uh, showing up. Okay, um, for some of you guys, if it is a money situation and you have to partner up with this person because there's a transaction and the sun is saying that maybe something positive is coming in because maybe this person wants to buy you out. So if it's a money thing and you're finding that this is something to do with a divorce and getting your fair share or settlement on it, it might be that some of you guys are going to have to settle something here financially with a partner, for example, because it's just going to sort it. It's just going to, you know, make, it's just going to make things easier. I feel that your hopes are with the three of coins really just to work, just to get along with this individual, just to work together as a team. Not because you love them, not because you care about them, but simply because it makes financial sense or business sense or work sense. Something makes sense here, but this is all about, I think when I look at the cards, this is all about you guys having to get along with someone, Scorpio. You've got no choice. You're just going to have to try and get along with someone in February because it's just a transaction. That's all it is. Whether it's getting money from the person or them getting money from you, whether it's a working matter, whether it's a family matter, whether it's a relationship matter, you're just going to have to get along with somebody. But it's not because of love. It's because it makes good business sense. The overall outcome for the month is, well, judgment. This is all about if you guys showing here with the two of wands... Uh, whether the two of wands is to make a choice to transact with the queen of coins or whether this is a ball about you working in a partnership because you're transacting with this individual with the queen of coins the overall outcome is the moon the anxieties that you've been building up with that moon will be released with the judgment energy you're being called to release the anxiety and i feel that the overall outcome of the month is that you are you are being called to release an anxiety because you're going to have to get on with this person. Whoever this individual is for you, Scorpio, you're going to have to get on with them no matter what. You haven't got a choice. You're just going to have to. This is a month of needing to just face up to the shit and just do it. Because you don't have a choice, Scorpio. You're just going to have to get along with whoever this person is because it makes good financial and business sense. It's as simple as that. You don't have to like them. The universe isn't telling you that you have to like this person, but you're really going to have to get on with them because it's not only going to help you financially, perhaps business-wise, work-wise, family-wise, whatever it is-wise, it's not only going to help you in that way, Scorpio, it's also going to help you to release a hell of a lot of tension that's been going on in the situation too. You can't work under tension, so you need to find a way just to get on with an individual in February 2019. Let's have a quick look at your love reading for February. Remember, we're going to do a bigger love reading, okay, coming up to Valentine's, all right? So that'll probably be with you around, you know, the start of February or something like that. This is why I'm getting these readings out of the way, so I'm leaving room for the big, the lovely big love reading coming up for you guys. And we're going to do love and I'm going to work. I'll work out something. I'm going to work out a really nice spread. On those readings, you won't see me. You'll just see the cards. But there's going to be a really, really good love reading coming up uh, to celebrate Valentine's. Um, let's have a look. And I'm going to be putting some special Valentine readings onto the website as well. If you want to order any of those. Right, let's have a look. So for love, what's coming in for Scorpio for love in uh, January two uh, February 2019? What's coming in for Scorpio and love in February 2019? Show me. I remember this is not your main love reading, Scorpio. Your main one is going to be the start of February. This is just your general and love reading because those are the ones that go up on a month-by-month -month basis. Let's have a look for you then. Oh, okay. So, uh, okay, there's somebody that you guys are going to be focusing on. You've got a King of Wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius individual. That This person is the focus for the month for you guys. It's a King of Wands, handsome as fuck, uh, good-looking, charismatic, a go-getter. This is somebody who uh, has a lot of uh, interested parties. Men and women both love the King of Wands. So this is where you're going to be focusing. Now, what's influencing this is the four of 
Swords. So some of you guys haven't been around this person. It's either that this person hasn't been around you or you haven't been around them. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So some of you guys have been away from an individual for quite a while. Either your choice or theirs. Now, the root issue for why this person is figuring so tentatively um, in your thoughts, and I think it is in your thoughts, uh, in the month of... Because the Four of Swords is not reversed. It doesn't say this person's come back, which is why they're showing up. It's showing up as somebody's, you know, removed themselves. You're either removed yourself or they have... Now, the reason why this person is the main focus is because, oh no, you're getting a message, the Eight of Wands. So some of you guys are actually getting a message from this person. There's somebody coming back to you. There's somebody I feel returning in February, okay? And with the Emperor energy around this, they want to say hi. They want to shake your hand. They want to make something right. There's something that they want to put in order again with you. I think you've got an ex-lover coming back, Scorpio. Okay, and the most likely outcome could be that you'll start again with this individual, the Ace of Wands. It'll be a fresh start for the both of you. Uh, coming in, what you've got, though, is uh, Ten of Swords. How lovely. You know, I was hoping that this was going to go really well, Scorps, but for fuck's sake, why the fuck have we got a Ten of Swords? Hmm. Okay, coming in is the Ten of Swords. So, can you see? Look at all that. Look at the, the knives. It's quite a violent depiction of the Ten of Swords, actually, that is. So you've got the knives in the back, you've got, you know, this person's getting hurt. So, uh, you know, there is some hurt here with the Ten of Swords. I don't, some readers say, you, well, you're at the end of the line of hurt and all those things. You might be with the Ten of Swords, but Ten of Swords is a fucking Ten of Swords. And it depicts betrayal and getting hurt. We'll find out what that is in a moment. You guys are the King of Coins. Well, no, this is, um, the external factors are a King of Coins. That's interesting showing there. But it should show that you guys are the King of Coins energy. I think that you should, I've, you know, these positions where I go, the you now, it's who you are. So if you're the king of coins, you're doing very well, Scorpio. All right, this is you. It's not anybody else. You can show as any tarot, any, anybody in the tarot, you show as being a king of coins. All right, which shows that you are a place in your life, Scorpio, where you're doing well financially, you're doing well in work. You're getting yourself sorted out. You've got a nice home, Scorpio. You're feeling good about your life. All right, you've built a very strong foundation for yourself as a king of coins. And probably that's why the energy for the month is, what you're facing for the month is this king of wands. Because this person's sending you a message. And they're sending you a message because the influence is, is that they've taken time out to think or they've been away for a while. And they just want to make things right with the emperor energy. And the most likely outcome could be, well, you've got a fresh start with this individual, ace of wands. But you've got that old, good old ten of swords coming in. Let's have a look what's coming in around that. Okay, eight of cups walking away. Who's the fuck's walking away? Is it king of wands or you? Uh, let's have a look at what the eight of cups is about in a moment. Hopes or fears? What are the hopes of the two of cups? Togetherness? Union? Love? A bond? Shared bond? What's the overall outcome though? Page of cups from this. That's interesting. Page of cups is all about new relationship. It's all about showing interest. Page of Cups is all about showing interest, loyalty and faithfulness. Maybe the Ten of Swords is all about you getting hurt or feeling that you're going to get hurt. Let's have a look. Because you've got the Ten of Swords coming in. I feel that this is you, Scorpio. I feel that you're afraid of getting hurt. Why is the Ten of Swords showing up in February for Scorpio? Why is the Ten of Swords showing up for uh, Scorpio in February? Well, because of justice. You're trying to work out whether this person's right for you or not. You know, justice is also completion. But I, I, can't, I don't feel that I should read it like that, though, for some reason. Because the justice is also the weighing up of a matter with the justice energy showing up here, okay? Um, And sometimes justice is all about coming to a conclusion. I'm going to have a look at what this conclusion is. I think it's coming, you guys coming to a conclusion with the justice energy. What's this about? No. I don't think this is getting hurt. I think this is mental pressure. I think that you guys have come to a conclusion that this person is your soulmate. The lovers and justice is a very, very good combination for love. I think that you are trying to... I, I think it's two things. I think, number one, because the Justice card shows somebody who's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. 
this is weighing up whether this person is your soulmate perhaps with the lover's energy lovers is all about the best relationship you can have it's about the most balanced relationship the most loving relationship the kindest relationship that you can have and this is all about you guys going hmm this is all about you making a decision whether this is your soulmate, whether this is the person that you're meant to be with for the rest of your life. And it might be, I feel with this Ten of Swords now, that you guys are under a great deal of pressure, mental pressure, because this involves you guys weighing up, I feel, with the Justice card, trying to make a decision with the Justice card, whether this person is your true love. And coming in around this, so this is, and that actually, thinking about it, Scorpio, works out very, very well in this reading. Because this person's coming back. For some of you guys, somebody's returning. You're receiving a message from them. And that's why you're facing the King of Wands in February. Because they've sent you a message. Let me have a look at why this person's sending you a message. Why is this person sending Scorpio a message in, with the Eight of Wands? Yeah. The Temperance. They want forgiveness. Temperance is all about forgiveness. Temperance is all about trying to compromise. Temperance is all about healing. So this person wants to heal a situation with you, with the temperance. They want to mediate. They want to talk something through. They want to work something through with you, Scorpio. And that's why the energy is this person around you. They've taken a break with the Four of Swords. They've thought about stuff. And suddenly, as a result of that, they say, look, you know what, Scorps? I'm sorry things went down the way that they did, but I want to really try and heal this matter. I want to work something out with you here. And there you go, bingo. More than likely, if things carry on the way that they're going, you'll have this fresh start. However, that's the most likely outcome. It's not the overall outcome. Coming in, I do feel you guys are feeling really, really... I think that you are going through a mental attack here. I think that you're going through a spiritual attack with this Ten of Swords. There's an attack of the mind here with the Ten of Swords. There's a lot of overthinking that you guys are doing here with this Ten of Swords, Scorpio. Because you are trying to weigh up with the Justice card. You are trying to make a decision whether this person is your true love with the lovers. And coming in, some of you Scorpios are going to be like with the Eight of Cups. Influences are turning your back. You want to turn your back on the dirty dishes of the Eight of Cups energy showing here. I'm not saying that you want to walk away, but I feel that you want the past to be gone. I don't think this is walking away. Yeah. I feel that you guys will want to turn your back on the past with the Eight of Cups as you start to build a future with this individual with the Ten of Coins. Because your hopes are the Two of Cups, that this is your soulmate, that this is the person you really can build a relationship with, with the Two of Cups energy. The overall outcome is the Page of Cups. What a lovely energy. I feel there's an emotional investment here with this Page of Cups energy. I feel with the Page of Cups energy, there is a spark of happiness and joy with this Page of Cups as you are ready now to emotionally invest in this relationship with the Page of Cups energy. I'll see what shows with that. I'm hoping it's another good card. Uh, I do feel that there's somebody coming back to Scorpio. I feel that there's somebody coming back to Scorpio. Okay. I do feel that there is. And the world. You can't get better than that. Page of Cups in the world. The overall outcome for the month, this is the greatest love. The world is an achievement card. It's a goal. It's the greatest. And the Page of Cups is new love. Okay. This is love that you can build on. This is love that has, has matured because the Page of Cups is the younger effect of love. It's where you're just falling in love. But I feel with the world energy, this is love that has matured over a period of time. I actually feel some of you guys are getting back with someone, Scorpio. And I think that this relationship for some of you guys is going to be better than it was before. I really do. Now, you know me. I don't always read on reconciliation. I don't do that in my readings. I read what I see and what I feel. I read from the heart. This is why it's Carol's Universe tarot readings from the heart. This is the greatest love affair, the overall outcome, Page of Cups. But Page of Cups is young, young. So when it comes to love, he's just discovering love. He's just learning about it, all right? So this is a new relationship that has matured, all right? It's new, but it's matured because you've had it before. Let's get this reading again. What a beautiful reading, Scorpio. Really, really nice for love for February. Let's see what the big love reading says in February, though, when it comes out. You guys are showing as being the king of coins. That's you. You're successful. You're happy. You're grounded. 
you're doing well in work for some of you guys. Uh, everything that you touch turns to gold. It's the Midas touch with the King of Coins energy. Uh, you have reaped your rewards in life with the King of Coins. You've put a lot of hard work into who you are. And you have seen the rewards from that with the King of Coins. Some of you guys are ready to settle down with this King of Coins energy. But also some of you guys with the King of Coins energy. Remember, the King of Coins is also fucking cautious. He's cautious. You know, when I used to read on the King of Coins being cautious about a year, two years ago, whatever it was. And I used to have all these subscribers coming to me and saying, no, no, how can you explain the King of Coins like that? How? He's meant to be this. All other readers say this. Fuck off. It's not. Sorry for swearing, but it's so annoying. You've got to look between the lines with Tarot. You have to, or else you're doomed. You can't always read him as being the loyal guy. He is loyal. He is. But he's also... This is why coin people are cautious. They're really dodgy. He'll take ages to, like, say yes to any girlfriend because he's like, hmm, let me find out because I need her... I want her to be this, this, and this. So some of you guys are cautious with this card. You've taken so long to build up what you've built up. You've taken so long to heal... You are now this. You are seeing the fruits of all of your hard work and all your labor with the King of Coins. Now, as a result of that, what you're facing is, in love, a King of Wands. This is a good-looking male or female, uh, popular, ambitious, well-known, well-dressed, highly sexed. He's everything. He's every male or female's dream. The reason that this person is coming in, Scorpio for love, is because they're sending you a message that they want to reconcile. Because the temperance energy is all about reconciliation. So this person is messaging you that they want a reconciliation, they want a meeting, they want to mediate on something with you. And around this, the emperor. They want to put things in order with you, with the emperor energy. Okay, they want a handshake. They want you to say yes. Now, what's influencing this person showing up is because they've taken time out to think about things with Scorpio, the Four of Swords. And as a result of that, the most likely outcome will be that you guys have a fresh start with the Ace of Wands. Now, I do feel that coming in, Scorpio, that what you'll experience is a great deal of mental pressure with the Ten of Swords energy. Because you're going to try and mediate or work out or make a decision on whether with the Lover's energy this person is your true love. Are they your soulmate? Are they your twin flame? Are they the person that's meant to be with you all your life through? And what you guys will want to do is turn your back on the past and start building a life with this uh, individual with the Ten of Coins. So you're saying goodbye to the dirty dishes. No more dirty dishes. No more bullshit anymore. I want us to turn over the leaf or turn over a leaf with the Eight of Cups energy and start building anew with the Ten of Coins. Your hopes will be the Two of Cups. That this is a beautiful, blended, soulmate, loving relationship. The overall outcome shows the Page of Cups. This is love in its infancy, but one in which, with the world energy, has room for growth. Okay, great growth with that world energy. Okay, this is young, uh, uh, aspirational love, okay, that can grow into something that's quite big because the Page of Cups is all about our aspirations and our dreams. So this is young, aspirational, idealistic love that has room and has the potential to become big and to grow hugely with this Page of Cups energy. I feel for you guys in terms of love, you do have somebody coming back, whether they've been away from you for a long time or a short amount of time, Scorpio. I think that you've got somebody coming back. I think they've had time to think about what they want. I think that they'll come back and they'll say for some of you guys, I love you. I care about you. Uh, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. You don't trust them, though, with this Ten of Swords. Okay? And you're also facing a lot of pressure because you're trying to weigh up with that justice energy. Is this person the right person for me with the lovers? Are they the right relationship? Are, the per are they the person that's going to bring in great happiness and great joy into my life? And you'll try and work out all of those things with this individual, Scorpio. But I do feel that you'll make a decision to turn your back on the past with that Eight of Cups and to rebuild a relationship with this individual. And out of that, you'll have this idealistic love, this idealistic fantasy of love that's going to grow into be something quite big. So some of you guys, you really do in February 2019, not only have probably an ex coming back, and I think it is an ex for a lot of you guys, but I feel that if it's an ex coming back, this could possibly be bigger and better than ever. All right, that is your love reading and your general reading for February 2019, Scorps. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. And I will see you beginning of February or the first week in February for your massive 
uh, Valentine's love reading. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.